Hey there YouTube, welcome back to another Black Powder update. And before you I have uh, yet another battalion of the French, uh, strangely enough. Um, so basically uh, these chaps uh, are the completion of the first uh, regiment of the 11th uh, Infantry Division, which of course is the last uh, division within 3rd Corps. And the end is uh, really starting to close in now. Um, this particular uh, division is is uh, quite small in comparison. It's it's literally um, four regiments of two battalions. Um, so uh, we are literally talking uh, three more from scratch battalions to do. Um, this, of course, being the first one. Now, figure wise, uh, these are they started off as a front rank uh, battalion, um, which I actually ordered uh, the first day uh, the Gripping Beast website reopened. Um, and I've got to say, they did take their time to come. They took about five weeks to come. Uh, and I've had them sitting in reserve uh, for a fair while now. Um, I think I, I think they came when I was um, somewhere around my first, or, or possibly the start of my second brigade of the uh, of the 10th, which was the division before. Um, now, uh, this time I decided to just go for a battalion pack. And normally I tend to go for the 36-man packs because they're, a bit of value and B they give you extra figures uh, but at this late stage in the game uh, I'm actually uh, pretty much okay for extra figures um, so I was trying to um, you know uh, watch watch the pennies a little bit and uh, and not end up with a whole bunch of, of uh, wasted metal figures because I really do I really do detest that um, now I have actually got quite a big bag of, of spare figures especially for my Brunswick's um, I have a lot of spare figures for those guys, which are more or less basically useless because I've actually done the entire uh, division. Um, <clears throat> so I, I was trying to basically uh, close this project off with as minimal amount of leftover metal figures as possible. Uh, now plastics, I'm not really too bothered about them. The, the way that I've kind of worked out is that I'm actually more, I've now actually more or less uh, eradicated. Um, which was going to basically be a battalion of uh, eighteen twelve Perrys, and, and I'm now um, going to basically be swapping those guys out for almost all metals now. Um, so my last four um, battalions I, that I build and paint from scratch are, are, are going to be 99% uh, wall metal. Um, now let's uh, give it a blurb on these boys. So these chaps are the uh, second battalion of the... 12th Inf uh, Regiment de Ligne, and they are commanded by a chef de battalion, Louis Edouard de Beaufort. And uh, let's start by giving you a closer look at the Grenadiers. So I'll just move the. It's uh, semi sunny here today, uh, so the lighting's not the lighting's not too too bad, but it's still a little bit of shade. Uh, so here we have the uh, the grenadiers. Uh, these chaps are all front rank. Um, now, obviously, as we go along, I'll, I'll point out if there's any figures that aren't front rank. Um, of course, uh, obviously, you can tell that these guys are front rank. Um, that they've got that sort of front front rank chunkiness look to them. Uh, but yeah, really nice figures, as always, really. And uh, yeah, that's the division of grenadiers, or uh, the fifth company, as I like to call them. Next up, we have the uh, fourth company. Uh, now, these chaps have actually got a couple of uh, uh, figures uh, that aren't uh, front rank. So we have a Perry's and we have a uh, Calpe. Uh, these were brought in. Um, uh, I think I, 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 I think I brought them in uh, pretty much the same day as I as I had the battalion come. Uh, because what I always tend to do is, as soon as I get a new battalion in. I'd go through them and um, inspect all the figures, their positions, their the way their heads are turned, etc., etc., and I and I plan out the battalion um, sort of there and then. Uh, now, uh, with front rank, of course, uh, especially with the battalion packs, uh, you always get two drummers, so straight away you've got to replace one figure. Um, now, in this particular um, order, they also managed to miss out. Um, four of the elite company so i had to scrape up four um grenadier figures or, or in this case of altajer 
Um, and also, uh, I decided to just swap out an extra few figures just to make the battalion a little bit more different. So in this case, we have the Calpe guy. Uh, and this chap here, um, who originally I thought was just an, a normal infantry member, he's actually, uh, I think he was actually meant to be one of the Grenadier, uh, the Voltage Air figures, or the Elite Company figures, because he's got a Sobre Briquet. Uh, so I ended up making this guy uh, an NCO. So the fourth company has an NCO for a change. Uh, but yeah, quite a nice uh, uh, looking stand in the end. Um, and of course, the two front rank chaps at the back, one with a soft cap. Okay, next up we'll have the actual Wolf Jair. Uh, now, of course these chaps are, like I just said, uh, parries. Uh, and of course they were brought in because uh, of the lack of elite figures. Uh, they obviously made some sort of mistake and sent me four extra fusiliers instead of uh, the four um, elite company figures. Uh, now, I thought for, for four figures it's not going to be worth... Because if they want me to send them back, there's, there's no easy way for me to get to a post office. Um, and... Uh, I just thought, uh, it's just not worth the hassle, I'm not even going to bother. Uh, and I just uh, luckily had these chaps spare from when I did the Perry's Battalion. Uh, so I just basically used these chaps. Uh, so these guys are the horses, yeah. Okay, next up, the NCO stand, or the third company. Uh, so here we have three front rank, and we have one uh, Calpe Sergeant. Swapped in literally because he's a sergeant. I can't remember what I did with the uh, the actual sergeant figure. I'm, I'm sure I did get... Maybe I, maybe I was missing the sergeant figure as well. Because I'm sure you always get a sergeant figure in the front rank. I don't know. I, can't, I really can't remember. Uh, next up, the uh, musician's company. So here we have another one of those rather cool musicians carrying the drum on his back. And these are all front rank. Uh, so we have the chap with the uh, without a shako and the bandaged head. We have a guy with an uncovered shako and we have... Uh, the drummer and the normal, another normal chap behind him. Uh, of course, you get two of these guys. So, and I have actually used both of them uh, because I do actually quite like this drummer figure. Uh, when, when he first came out, I wasn't too hot on him, but he he soon grew on me, and I think he's actually quite a cool figure. So that's the uh, musician stand. Finally, the command. Of course, a uh, Fanion, uh, Fanion bearer and a flag. We have uh, we have two front rank chaps on this uh, base. Um, this guy and the uh, Fanion bearer. Now, obviously, you do get two officers in in a in a pack. Um, and my dilemma was uh, originally I was just going to use both of them, but uh, I'll, sh I'll actually show you the, the the other figure. So this chap here was the other officer figure, and uh, as I was kind of um, planning out the. Um, the battalion uh, as I was about to set them to bases to get them ready for painting um, I kind of noticed that this chap had uh, his rank epaulets uh, actually on his great coat um, which um, I don't know I mean uh, I don't think it's that uh, common because um, I've obviously got quite a few figures that are just wearing great coats uh, this chap included um, so I thought this chap kind of looks a little bit more um, Regal than the guy that I originally was going to use as a Shepherd Battalion, so I decided in the end to, um, because this chap has actually got quite a, a more mature looking face, um, he looks a little bit too old to be a junior officer, so I thought, well, I'm going to swap him out, swap this guy out for this uh, younger looking Perry's chap, uh, and use this guy for uh, commanding another battalion. Um, uh, for the 11th so uh, in the end I swapped out uh, for this junior officer and I also obviously got a Perry sergeant here um, who was obviously brought in because he's a sergeant figure so that is the command base and that is uh, the end of this uh, look at the uh, second battalion of the 12th so I hope you enjoyed it um, what's up on uh, the table next uh, I haven't actually decided yet um, I was kind of edging towards perhaps doing some command figures um, because I have actually got a, a nice little pile of command figures I need to do um, uh, within this division. Um, obviously there's the four colonels um, and also the two brigade commanders and obviously the divisional commander. Um, so I thought well maybe um, I can do uh, three of the colonels and 
at the same time um, do a little bit of tidying up on the next battalion's first battalion uh, and that kind of uh, does two jobs at once and uh, when I complete that I'll, I'll be ready to start another battalion uh, and finish another regiment uh, and plus uh, have uh, three colonels done as well um, and then of course uh, when I finish the battalion after that again I can do uh, the similar sort of thing and, and perhaps uh, knock out some of the uh, slightly higher command figures uh, and, the, and the final colonel um, and, and kind of interspace it uh, because like I say the uh, the first battalions of uh, this particular division are all uh, figures that were painted late uh, towards uh, the end of me finishing my original third corps project so they're all a lot better uh, painted standard than uh, a lot of the earlier division uh, the earlier regiments okay that's the end hope you uh, enjoyed it um, and uh, thank you again to a couple of more new subscribers and of course to everyone else uh, who watches my videos so until then catch you all later bye bye